Dr. Jonathan Youssef, Networking for Your Optimal Health. Today's topic is going to be about migraines. This can be a headache. So <laughs> migraines are a very debilitating uh, disease that is affecting my everyday patients. Um, it's very important to talk about them because there are some preventative things that you can do and there are some triggers that can affect your migraines. So come on, take a listen, see what you can find out. And then if you need to talk to us more, come on in, we'll talk to you more about it and figure out some options for you. So the first thing I want to talk about is some triggers. Our triggers are too much coffee or too little coffee. If you've been drinking coffee every day and you suddenly stopped, that may affect you know, your migraines. Stress, well stress can affect migraines for many patients and it could be the number one trigger in my book. Certain types of foods such as wine and cheeses can have certain types of ingredients in there that can affect your migraines and uh, reduce that threshold for migraines. And I'll be talking about that in one second. But MSG, cheeses, wines are one way. I drew a picture of a calendar because it represents hormonal changes that people go through in a month and also during menopause. So hormones up and down can affect your menstrual cycle and of course affect your migraines. So in this particular case, what are the triggers for migraines? You need to log it in, you need to take a diary, you need to figure out why you're getting those migraines. And then we can take a look at some natural options for you to um, reduce your chances of getting migraines. Well, here's why I think it's important to look at those options. This is my graph of a typical person who has migraines. They lie right around here. So here are your daily triggers, right? Stress, anxiety, insomnia, those go down underneath here. There's no problem. But let's say one day you start to get a little bit more anxiety. You've been eating a lot more wine, uh, cheese or drinking more wine and boom, you're above that level. Well, that may start to give you a migraine. So let's say a normal person might be up here. All of this can go by without having a migraine. But once they hit that threshold, then they can develop a migraine. Well, let's try to get those triggers down. But how can we improve those naturally? Well, are you taking your magnesium riboflavin and maybe one of the neurologists told me about this herbal supplement that really sounds like it's got some studies to behind it and then a b12 injection can also help so think about some natural options that can reduce your threshold let's talk about preventative health right let's what are these preventative medications that can be done when you are trying to when you have more than 15 migraines per month or just having multiple migraines and you need to talk to your doctor about some um, alternative options than just taking an abortive medication. Well, beta blockers and calcium channel blockers are hypertensive medication that can help with reducing your um, migraines. TCA are tricyclic antidepressants, an alternative, and Topamax, an anticonvulsant, and there's also, also alternative um, anticonvulsants that can be used here, but this is an FDA approved treatment. Botox, I've given for many patients, we give the Botox in certain areas, such as your forehead, your temple, your occipital, and your trapezius muscles. I use that every three months for my patients. And then the newest generation of medication called calcitonin gene-related peptides. These are monoclonal antibodies. There's three on the market right now, Amavig, Amgality, and Ajovi, three of which can help you um, reduce your number of migraines per month using a new technology, use monoclonal antibodies, and calcitonin gene-related peptides. The abortive medications are your typical anti-inflammatories, your ibuprofen, your, your, your Aleve, your Tylenol, and then your Excedrin. So these um, can help just when you have a migraine immediately. Barbiturates, you've heard of Furacet, Furanol, those are barbiturates. The triptans are your traditional imitrex with um, sumatriptan and then the alternatives like Zomeg, uh, Relpax, and um, a handful of others. Two, uh, two anti-nausea medications that have been in favor with some neurologists are the Compazine and Reglan, the Z Zofran and Phenergan, which can be used, but these two are uh, favored by certain neurologists um, in the local community, and I'm you know, interested in trying them out as well for some of my alternative uh, treatments for patients. So if you're having a migraine, don't let it give you a headache. Come on in, let's take a look and see what we can do for you. And um, also maybe look at some of the triggers, some natural options you can do at home. And then if you're interested in some preventative and abortive treatments, 
come to see your doctor about it.